Welcome to another episode of Loyal TV. You can't afford to miss a town like Mustang, Oklahoma. It's tucked just outside the state capital in the Southwest Metro. And while it took six years to become official after its 1895 charter, today it's a more than thriving community. And it's helping to provide energy for hundreds of thousands of homes in Oklahoma. Come with us inside the Mustang Energy Center. It's May 5th, 1950, and it's very early in the morning. A switch is thrown without fanfare, and at 2.17 a.m., the most important operation to date for a company that has served Oklahoma since before statehood, whirs to life. And OG&E's 56,000 kilowatt generating station, nearly twice as large as any other in their system at the time, is online. In 1902, Oklahoma Gas and Electric became the first company to successfully power Oklahoma. And a quarter century later, they were the state's largest electricity provider. But the launch of this Mustang power plant in the 50s would be the company's signature moment as they became the first company nationwide to combine gas and steam turbines to generate electricity, creating the first combined cycle power plant. Quickly, this sleepy little community grew and changed. Of course, times changed too. In the 50s, families possibly had one TV, a radio, and small appliances. Today, it takes billions of kilowatts to power only televisions and cable boxes each year by themselves. So, cut to Friday, November 10th, 2017, and with a computer keystroke, OG&E CEO Sean Trotsky fires the seven jet engine turbines in the brand new 462 megawatt Mustang Energy Center. In 10 minutes, the combustion generators reach peak power rather than the 20 hours it took the original steam generators nearby. These turbines are practically identical to engines that propel Boeing 777s, and they're flying the cities of Mustang and nearby Yukon plus all of Oklahoma, forward to a better future. As they power the state with cutting-edge, affordable electricity and continue to bring in ad valorem tax revenue that funds schools and civic improvements, that's powerful stuff. Join us next time for one of the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.